Hey everyone, today I'm starting something a bit new for the channel. I figured I'd maybe start doing a Let's Play through the game. A lot of my videos I've been putting out before have been guides on how I would do this specific mission that some people may be having problem with, or how I would play this character, how I would prioritize these different elements, so why not just play through the game and... If you are so interested or entertained, you can see me do them all in action over the course of a playthrough. I'm just going to do classic mode, not roguelite. And I will be playing on very hard. Just not really doing roguelite because in case something comes up over the course of this let's play that I maybe want to take advantage of to make a separate video on, the ability to reload is very useful for that kind of stuff. So I'm not too sure if I want to sit through all the cutscenes because I've this is like my eighth playthrough now. I'm not too sure if anyone watching this really cares about the cutscenes because I imagine most people have probably seen them already. But if it's something you want me to keep included, I'll do it. Just let me know. All right. Easy enough, move up. Stigma, get her attacking. Dead. Alright. Let's grab some gold. Yeah, I'll get to you. There we go. Come on. <coughs> there we go. I wish they did more cutscenes kind of like this throughout the game. Kind of actually 3D rendering some stuff in the game. We can like see what Sir K looks like underneath the helmet. He's like one of the only heroes we get to see what they look like under a helmet if they have one. Blah blah blah. Alright, there we go. Uh. In case you were wondering, I am going to be doing a Tyrant Old Faith run. It's my favorite alignment of the four combinations. It was the first alignment I did, and I haven't really gotten a chance to fully play through with it since then, so I've been looking forward to playing it again. Alright, open the door, and... One, two... And... Very nice, hit the range. Uh, there's the treasure chest. In we go. Stab. Stab. Coward. Come here. Stigma, stab, stab, stab. Get some loot. All right. We're going to start this fight over on this side. This is usually where I like to start it, so that way I'm not getting shot at by the... Uh, crossbowmen as I fight in the middle. This way I can just kind of try and rush them a bit sooner. Just gonna move up. No damage. He can reach, so we're gonna sidestep and let him move up. Should be fine. Super dead. Be gone, thought. Don't 
don't even know who you are. Whatever you do. Alright. Alright, we're gonna focus him first. Let's put stigma up. Get the kill. And we'll just move you up to there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Meant to click Sir K there. A little bit of a misclick. That's okay, I guess. Now we move you up. Begin our advance. And gone. Now this is my chair now. Doesn't seem very grand for a throne if I'm gonna be honest. It's more just like a fancy chair, but it has have a cool dragon skull next to it, I guess. It's kind of imposing. Camelot. Alright, what are we going to do first with you? going to pick that up. We're going to pick this up. With Mordred... I mean, definitely taking shield charge first, always. Round two. Let's go kill some more bandits. Yeah, if only you could one-shot dudes after I recruit you, that would have been great. You really mislead with your uh, performance here. So close. Well, we can just do that. Alright, well, one-shotted him, I guess, so... Kind of three for three. All right, all right. Should be some gold over here to loot. All right, we'll send Mordred up the middle. Balin, we don't recruit any into this mission, so he can take hits and be fine. His health will reset the next time we come across him. So we'll have him go this way and if he gets attacked by these guys, it's not a big deal. Um, can he cross? Oh, okay. He can. Something like that. Archer down. Balan moves up. Put stigma... Guarantee the kill. Nice meaty power attack. Just throw some attacks in, doesn't really matter. Have Sir K start going for the archer. Then Dindrain comes in at this point, I believe. There she is. Why would you move? You had a backstab on this guy. Well, I guess get the kill on him. Dead. And dead. Yay, marksman. You'll be good for act one, and then you will probably never see the light of day again until end game if you're the marksman I choose to keep. <laughs> Over here for the optional fight. Get some of that extra XP in. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to overwatch. 
I have the range advantage. Let them come to me. Why waste my AP to get closer just so they can hit me on their next turn? Let's see. Fire arrow. Finish you off. And we'll just... None of them can reach me, so yeah, we'll just wait again. Um, we'll have you pick off whoever lives. Dead. Super dead. We'll have you back up. And back. Um, let's have you start focusing on this guy. You'd think they'd want to rush the marksman, but you know, you're being courteous. I appreciate it. Pew pew. And hitless. Well, I mean, I guess she took a hit, but you know, peasants don't count. I misclicked. That was supposed to be for Balin. Mordra did not need that armor. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess we're doing this. Alrighty. I've kind of messed around with this fight a few times, and in my experience, the best entry point is still kind of the main center one. But... Um, because this is so narrow, only one person can get in. I mean, I guess this one isn't terrible. It gives us access to one of the archers immediately. Uh, let's try this one. It's been a while. Uh, let's change our formation, though. Yeah, there we go. That's better. You can just shoot him immediately. Alright, move in, dead. Pew pew. Just move you up one. We'll have you overwatch. Very nice, put stigma on you. Power attack. Uh, let's have you step aside. That's fine. Yeah, I probably should have done that first. Oh well. Dead. Let's actually have you move back. Just set the burn. Very nice. Uh, let's have Mordred move around. Balan can move up. Finish you. And... Hmm. We'll just do this for now. And then back one. Yeah, I thought that would happen. It's okay. I was hoping Mordred would, would uh, get the kill there, but who oh well. Just move you up, and you're 
not going to be able to do anything else for this fight, so let's just make sure you don't get shot again. Dead. See you later. Alright, let's grab both of these chests, and that'll wrap it up for this one. Camelot rises. Alright, um, obviously first things first, hospice. Probably going to want to do the cathedral next once I have enough resources. I don't think I'll be needing either of these too much, but better safe than sorry, I think. Uh, tyrant option, of course. All right, uh, everyone, there may be a weird cut in there. I had to restart my recording. There was uh, some recording issues. I think I may have fixed it, hopefully. If you're seeing this, then I fixed it. So, doing Bridge of Sorrows. I'm looking at my recording. Yeah, seems to be in good shape. Everything's flowing. Awesome, cool. Friend. I was a little worried, honestly. I thought I was going to have to cut the recording short. Glad that is not the case. Other friend. Huzzah! Five-man party. Alright, before we go in there, let's head over here first. Uh, there we are. Treasure chest. And there should be some gold, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Bridge fight. Um, I'm just gonna throw some traps down. You're gonna go like right through there. I know it. Hopefully the burn will kill you. Can these guys reach? Kinda. Uh, we'll just do this. And Overwatch. That should be fine. Burn did not kill. Okay, but he did step on the trap. Cool. Very useful. Uh, yeah, just kill him. Stigma. Cleave. Oh, that's a movement AP. Darn. Oh, managed to get the kill anyways. Pew pew. Step stab. Unfortunately, can't quite reach. We'll take the one hit. Better than uh, taking two. And with Overwatch should be all right. Yep, Overwatch kills you. Stab, stab, stab. That's a big old fort. He makes a valid point. Uh, yeah. Let's just do this fight first since we're here. Something like... Nope, turn around. There we go. Something like that. Crossbowman in there. We'll send Balin to deal with him. We're out of range, even for their crossbowman. I mean, he'll get like a shot in, he'll get a shot in. I don't think either of these two will, so we're just going to pass his first turn, let them get closer. Yeah, so we'll just pass. Yeah, just go ahead and take him out. Start sinking our shots in. The burn will take care of you. 
Let's finish him off. Very nice. And yeah, we'll move you up. We're not going to keep him, so it's fine if he gets messed up. He's kind of cannon fodder since we're going Tyrant and we're taking uh, the Vanguard, brother. Let's go ahead and pull you back, though, so you're less likely to get shot by this dude. Nice. Let's go ahead and pull you aside. We're probably going to want to pop these. I don't know if we'll be able to get to him and kill him within two turns. So, yeah. Man, that block sure is a pain. Yeah, like, like I said, that's fine. You can deal with him. We'll go ahead and drink this. White. Thank you. Jeez, so annoying. I probably should have held him back because he's going to get shot now. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Well, able to take care of that at least. We're just going to better safe than sorry put you over here. Why are you facing that way? Nice win. Let's go ahead and replenish some HP. Yeah, that one's a little bit of a pain with all those marksmen spread out. I think this restores vitality. Yeah. We'll come back to that later in case Sir K takes a little bit of extra damage. Like I said, I don't really care about Balin. I can be a little reckless with him if it means saving my other guys from some hits because I am not keeping you and this try and also vitality okay cool so we have two vitality heals that's helpful I don't remember that one also being vitality that other one I'm pretty sure this one over here is always vitality I think that one's set I don't know if all the shrines are actually set on every playthrough I haven't paid attention to that yeah, it's fine. We'll deal with them. So, for this one... We'll put a trap there, because he's very clearly just going to run straight at him. And if the burn doesn't kill him, the trap most definitely will. And we'll put a trap there. And a trap there. And checking the range on all these guys. We'll go ahead and set up some overwatch. Very good, very good. Solid. Cool. All right. Do we want to cleave? I don't think we need to cleave here. Because I think... Yeah, we do that. And that. I guess I could have cleaved here, couldn't I? Yeah, I guess so. Um... Let's go and shoot you. 
he can't move because yeah let's go ahead and just throw some more traps to cover down this side should be okay I'm a little worried about her yeah Something like this. Something like that. We're actually gonna, yeah, eat an opportunity attack so we can do this. Have you step back, it's fine. There we go. Very nice. Get some HP back. I'm sure by now you've probably noticed how I'm able to like run around really quickly sometimes on the map as I'm exploring. Uh, there's a bit of a bug that lets you do this fast forward thing. Um, basically, in order to do it, it's very helpful for spinning things up in between combat. You need to hold spacebar as a fight is ending. But if there's some sort of cutscene or dialogue, it won't work. It has to be just a fight going straight back into exploration mode. Um, I have a video that kind of goes a bit more in detail on it. If uh, you want to do this for your own playthroughs, and I'll link that in the uh, description. Alright, so... Put you here, put you there. We'll have Balan take point over K in terms of our champions, because, again, it does not matter if he uh, gets super messed up. We'll do this. Dang, I was hoping that'd kill. And we'll just move Balan all the way up. Uh, like this, so he doesn't get backstabbed by the uh, other guy. We'll have Sir K deal with the guys coming from here, so let's just... Something like that, I guess? Kinda... Yeah, let's just start working on this guy. Get the backstabs while we can. Getting hurt over here. Sensor K to take care of you. Let's go ahead and pop that potion now. And that should be good. Sounds like Sir K got an opportunity attack off screen. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and get some armor back. I think I have one more campfire. Yeah. You can go ahead and use a vitality. I mean. It, like I said, it's okay if he gets messed up, but uh, he can't die, because then we need to start the mission over. Sir K seems to be alright. I don't think he's going to lose more than seven more vitality. Hopefully none. Man, do not do a lot of damage to these guys with shields. Definitely going to want you to tank for stuff coming this way. K can tank for stuff coming that way. Set up some overwatch and should be good to go. Very nice. 
beautiful cleave set up right there for us. Nice, hit the range. Eat the opportunity attack. Finish you. And... Yeah, not great ending positions for most of these characters, but, um... I don't know, something like that, I guess. Good job, Kay. Um, what do we want to do here? Just have him come to us, I guess. Um, start moving Balan over to take care of the crossbowmen, I suppose. Whoops. Whoops. Did not... Why did you step forward? Okay, whatever. Alright. Well... That's unfortunate. Was not expecting him to get revealed there. Um, honestly, I think I'm still probably going to use the Vitality on K to avoid that loyalty penalty. He doesn't have an injury, so Balan's fine. And I can get through this section pretty well. They only have two crossbowmen, and they start way at the back, so... This should not be much of a problem. We just turtle up and make our way over slowly. Something like this. Dead. Get some shots off here. That's alright. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we don't care about him. Over here. What are we doing with you? What are we doing with you? Probably start shooting at their crossbowmen. Something like this. Should be able to, yep. Kill on you. Shouldn't die. They're probably both gonna target him, which is fine, but he shouldn't die, so. As long as he doesn't die, that's all that really matters. Yep, still alive. Barely. <laughs> Alright, we'll start pulling you back. Send Balan to uh, take care of that. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, keep shooting Mordred. That'll, that'll work out great for you. Just get another shot on him. I mean, hopefully the burn will high roll and kill him. Nice. Okay. Um, crossbowman here? Yeah. You're fine. Start rushing up, though. You only took one from that burn? Wow. Nice. Something like there. Does this reveal me? No, but that may, so... I'll start breaking the totem next turn. Alright. You're in melee, so now you have the damage penalty. You're both in melee, so you both have the penalty. And we can start working on this totem. Yep. 
So, Balan? Hello? There we go. Broken. Dead. Dead. Probably could use the healing potion there to prevent a little bit of vitality damage, but that's it's not a big deal. Um Do I wanna take the vitality on someone that can actually use it more? Probably. We'll take the minus one loyalty on K. I don't think that's a big deal. Well we made it through with a Bowen at one health. <laughs> Yada yada. Taking him because he's not nearly in a coma. Also Tyrant Point. <laughs> Balan took some vitality damage due to an unforeseen pathing from the crossbowman. I guess he was maybe taking a step forward to take a shot, but we were already in range, so that's kind of weird. I should have maybe parked one farther back just to be safe, I suppose, but oh well. Hand out some items here, and I think that's going to be it for this part. Spent a couple skill points real quick for Mordred and Kay since they leveled up. But yeah, that's it for this part. Uh, that mission is a little bit of a lengthy one. Got a lot of stuff to do in the next part. Probably going to... Yeah, going to do the extra recruitment mission, and then see what goes from there. This was fun, starting up a new game on Very Hard. I've been messing around with the uh, endgame stuff so much for a while that I uh, kind of forgot what the uh, early game was like a little bit. Looking forward to progressing this run, and I hope this was entertaining for anyone that watched it, and yeah, thanks for watching.